If you're using Amazon SageMaker and you've been frustrated by what looks like a lack of Python versions, you see PY27, PY36 amongst this, you know, this crazy mess of, not mess, but uh, amongst all of these conda environments, you're like, it's great that SageMaker has all these pre-built ones, but I want MXNet for Python 3.8 or Python 3.9. I don't want to be stuck on just 3.6 or 3.7. Here's how you can fix that. So in over here on the left, you can see this is a kernel I just created, my Python 3.9. It could have been a different version. Let me show you how you can make this too. So step one is to head over to the terminal. And what we want to do is we want to create a conda environment. So you're going to run a command that looks like this. You'll create an environment. You'll give it a name. I said py underscore blah, blah, blah. And this is key. The only package you want to install in this conda environment is the version of Python that you want. So Conda installs Python as a Conda package, which is kind of cool. Why? Because we can create new environments like this. We can specify what version of Python that we want, in this case 3.9. And then after this, we can pip install whatever packages we want inside of this environment. So there are a couple of, there's one more step here. So we, we Conda create our environment, then we will use source to activate the environment. Typically, you might use conda activate with this version of conda and SageMaker, you're gonna use source. And once you've done that, you will then be inside of the environment just like I am. So conda create and then source activate your env name. And now I can pip install whatever packages I want and they will be in my environment with the right version of Python. So if you have a requirements TXT file, just pass that in, you're good to go. Final thing here is that if you want to actually register the kernel, the easiest way I've found to do that is to install something called IPY kernel. You may need to pip install this and then use Python to say Python M install the env that you created and give it a display name. So this seems a little messy. You may want to write this one down. I'll include it in a blog post, but Python M IPY kernel, IPY kernel install the, the actual conda environment name and then the display name, and it will show up right here. So the end result is we now have a notebook. It's using my environment. And just to prove that to you, if I use the default version of Python, ah, oh, crap, it's the 3.6 thing I've been trying to get away from. No worries, I can use Python from this explicit environment. And by the way, that's what this is actually gonna be running behind the scenes, so you don't have to worry about hard coding this path, it's just to show you explicitly. And then I can import Dask and Coil and all the other fun stuff I wanna do, but using the right version of Python, the one that I just created. So if you're using SageMaker, you feel like you're stuck on waiting for them to give you new conda environments with the right the version of Python that you want, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, whatever. Just build them yourself with conda, register them with the IPY kernel, and then you can you can use these whenever you want.